Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Daryl Franklin. And I'm Melanie Townsend. Across the United States, fraud costs people thousands of dollars in savings, and it's really no different here in Wichita Falls. In fact, several who've lost money to contractor fraud came together to share their stories today and to warn others about crooked contractors. PJ Green joins us now with more. PJ, what can people learn from these victims? Well, Daryl and Mel, these cases were very tough to handle because these contractors that were recommended to these people were recommended by friends and associates. But the main way to avoid fraudulent contractors is to get a written contract and never give them money to buy supplies. Promise to work. He'll tell you that he's going to do uh, miracles and he don't do anything for you except take your money and run. But nothing to show for it. They put sheetrock up here and then they, they did the texturing but it was so bad it looked like a child had done it. Residents of Wichita Falls claim that they have been deceived by contractors in the area. Some of them blame Floyd Mosher. The owner of Quality Construction was arrested for theft after Kathy Sims, owner of the Enchanted Quilt, filed a police report. While doing research, Sims found that she wasn't the only alleged victim. I kept watching the, the, it's a public record for all the suits that went through, and that's when I found um, Mr. Roberts' a suit was filed with the court and what he had gotten, and I tracked him down, and we started comparing notes, and then that's kind of how we all kind of got together on it. Roberts received a judgment of $60,000 from the district court but has yet to see any work or money from that judgment. Thankfully, local contractors have decided to help Roberts remodel his kitchen, and the other alleged victims have started a GoFundMe for Roberts to help collect what he lost. With the amount of fraudulent activity in the area, the Better Business Bureau is in place to help avoid these cases and help bring cases to a resolution before filing a police report. Check out the contractor, make sure they have all of their licensing and insurance in place. Don't completely pay for the job until you're completely satisfied with it. These victims of fraud can report a scam to the BBB scam tracker, and they can also file any bad experience with any business to the Better Business Bureau.